Hello everybody and hello dear live coding enthusiasts. I'm Mr. Reason and today I show you my tidal cycles and NeoWim setup. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part I show you how to set up everything and in the second part we will have some uh, fun with the key bindings that I created and the macros to um, make it easier to shape your tidal cycles patterns in the mini notation. As a disclaimer, if you are not familiar with tidal cycles nor NeoVim, uh, check out some online references. Tidal cycles has the page, main page or homepage tidalcycles.org. And Tidal Cycles is a live coding language for creating music with algorithmic patterns. So on this page you find everything you need to know to get started, to install it, and so on and so on. So regarding NeoVim, there are a bunch of different um, ways to install it. I installed and set up everything with LazyVim, so my main material for this was LazyVim.org. And here you find everything you need to know to get started. There's even um, a YouTube video that helped me a lot. So yeah, check it out. When you installed everything, then you can add the, um, the Tidal Cycles plugin and the Macros Tidal Cycles plugin I created. Usually you find your NeoVim configuration or your LazyVim uh, configuration under um, your home directory slash dot config slash nvim and this is how it looks like on my machine. So we have this title.lua. This plugin basically um, makes it possible that you can send code to the, your title cycles interpreter and it's my version of it. So it's a fork that I created and here I enabled um, Mainly, this is the reason uh, I wanted to add the event highlighting on my plugin. So this is um, the biggest benefit. Besides that, I um, made some performance improvements. Anyway, this whole big configuration that you saw can be shortened if you just uh, stick with the default configuration and it's totally fine. Then you only need to add these lines of codes in your configuration, in your plugin configuration. Then, when you did this, everything should be installed and working fine. When you restart um, NeoVim, for example. But then, to extend that, I added the title Macros plugin. This is everything you need to uh, do. You can see that I created this vim minus repeat dot lua. This only adds a t pops vim, repe vim repeat. This is needed for enabling the dot repeat feature. Means when you executed a key binding um, and it's able to dot repeat, then you can just press dot to actually repeat the previous command. Then we have tidal macros and tidal, tidal macros is um, again like it's in tidal.lua you see that I uh, defined a directory and um, set the property dev to true because I wanted to um, to use my local plugin but you can just pass this to your um, plugin file and then it should work fine. All right. When you did this, then you can try it out with colon, title launch. And then um, what I do is colon title start event highlighting. And when I execute this code with um, option enter, then we should hear some sounds. You should see the event highlighting, uh, event highlights. And now we can start with some uh, key bindings. So let's start with improving the rhythm a little bit. So with T colon, uh, let's say colon four, you hear that we do have um, a rhythm with just four pulses. 
you can extend it to eight. And now with leader exclamation mark, I can ungroup these eights. And now when I execute the code again, you see the event highlights for that. With leader P, I automatically add a random rest in this pattern. And with dot, I can repeat that and now you see that we add more um, rests. I execute it again and now we have more rhythmic structures. Okay, with leader TS, I can shift the pattern by uh, one and with dot repeat you see that the whole structure will move to the left. To make it a little bit more interesting, uh, what we can do is uh, in the visual mode we can select everything and with leader uh, S we group it and now I can add um, a new these new brackets, square brackets here, because this stacks the uh, pattern. I add T exclamation mark 8 and with leader uh, exclamation mark I unfold them again. So these pattern will be shrinked and um, fits in one cycle. But when I um, highlight everything again and press leader C. Now every group will be just played in one cycle. And we could press leader TS again and dot repeat it. To create a variation of the rhythm. Okay. this so now uh, I want to add a melody so because we only uh, changed the rhythm with these um, boolean pattern now with 16 leader T and N I create um, I create uh, a pattern with a range from 1 to 16 but I think this is not really interesting. So I will shrink everything and apply a modulo uh, operator. So with four leader uh, and percent sign, we have this. And exactly with what we did before, I can group these. Patterns. And say that I only want to play it uh, each cycle. And now, with leader TR, I randomize the numbers in these patterns in a way that I say, okay, um, just randomly add plus one or minus one to every um, number in this pattern. With dot repeat I can do it again. And never forget to add juxref with the comments thanks Yexu. Add some more rests here. And instead of um, using the exclamation mark, I can st even say use the add sign because this will say that. This T should not just be repeated, but um, be used for this length inside of a pattern.
because with this we will come to an end. And we come back where we started. So, that is my title cycle setup. If you liked it, feel free to leave a comment, write me some feedback, um, and that was it. See you next time. Bye.